Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, today we're gonna to look at the Mavic Pro, which many of you have, or some of you would like to buy, and ND filters. Uh, not the ND filters you've been watching in other videos. This is gonna be pretty cool. Now, if you're wondering, what's an ND filter? Well, an ND filter is just basically sunglasses for your camera. So watch, here we go. There's an ND filter right now on my head just by putting my sunglasses over top. The camera on the uh, Mavic Pro has to work in low light, and super bright light. So when the light is really bright, like on a sunny day and the sun is straight above, the shutter will go extremely fast to compensate for the amount of light coming in. And of course, when there's hardly any light, the shutter goes really slow. Now, a lot of people like to fly and believe that, hmm, if you can slow down the shutter, you might get a better video image. Well, that's true sometimes, but not in every case. But either case, the only way on a sunny day to fix it is to put an ND filter on your Mavic Pro. They come in all shapes and sizes and different brands. But check out what DJI has. You know this plastic globe that's on your Mavic Pro to protect the very fragile gimbal? You know. Get it close so you can see it. This piece of plastic that you take off before you put on your ND filter and you fly, you don't usually fly with this because the results aren't that great. So you fly it like this with an ND filter on it. What if this was your ND filter? Well, guess what? Somebody's made them and I'm gonna show you in this video. Here they are. Here's the two filters that are in the shape of the bubble that goes on the Mavic Pro, which is pretty cool. So here's the bubble. I'll stick it over there. These two are made by the company named Junestar, uh, and I got these off of the website LightTake. I asked LightTake to send them to me because I thought they were really cool. I've never tried an ND filter that's in the shape of a bubble, so this should be interesting. So look inside the box, and uh, let's see what we see. So this is an ND16, I'll just toss that over there, and it comes in a plastic case. Here it is, there's our ND16. And this one is an ND32, and it comes in that sort of case, no little uh, protective item with it. Here, I'll get rid of these boxes. So there's our ND32. So let's take them out of the plastic and uh, see what they look like. Here we have the clear plastic bubble that came with the Mavic Pro. Now we have the ND16 and we have the ND32. So let's just see if I can do this. I'm gonna hold this over this here camera. It's kind of warped, uh, but there you go. As I move it around, you can see, should make no difference. It's clear. Let's try the ND16. ND16, obviously letting less light into the lens of my video camera. And the ND32, darkest of all, even less light. All right, so here we go. We have the Mavic Pro outside. ISO is at 100 and the white balance is sunny. It's a 4K recording video at 30 frames per second. And you can see without any ND filter on, I am shooting a shutter speed of 1 320th of a second. Let's put the ND16 on and see what happens. ND16 is now on. I'm just going to tap the focus again on the bunny to make sure everything's in focus. And the shutter speed now is at 1 1 20th of a second. But we're still at ISO 100, which is perfect. Let's try the ND32 and see what happens. Tap on the bunny, ND32 is on, and look at that, we're still at ISO 100, but the shutter speed has dropped to 1 50th of a second, which is pretty good, because if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you always want your shutter speed to be twice that, so that we're looking at about 60, uh, and we're at 50. So that's pretty decent. So that's my review of these little ND bubble filters that are pretty cool. Obviously not as good as the glass ND filters. They're made for a different reason. They're made for protection for your gimbal. So if you 
had to put something on to protect your camera and your gimbal because you're flying dangerously and you need an ND filter, well, use one of these. You can see in this video here, I actually flew with an ND16 bubble uh, protective filter on, and that was because I was flying so low to the ground at high speed that if I crashed, that was gonna wreck the gimbal. So with this little bubble ND16 filter on, no issues. If I crashed, the gimbal should be fine. Hope you enjoyed this review. More reviews on the way. Stay tuned.